Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Ads tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to add location extensions in our Google Ads account. Before we go straight to the point, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content, so thank you very much in advance. And off we go. So obvious first step, we need to log into Google Ads. Then we need to make sure we are under campaigns. We are going to select assets here. Once we are here, we are going to click on location and now we are going to click the plus symbol. Now there are two scenarios here. Either we are a store and we have one location or multiple locations that we own, or we are a type of FMCG business, fast moving consumer goods, and we are selling through other stores. If you are selling through other stores, then you are going to choose the affiliate locations. Then you're going to continue and let's go through one example, right? So let's say that we are selling in stores in, for example, India. So, and we are selling through these two chains. So we are going to select these two chains or we are selling in stores in the United States and we are selling through whatever, let's say, uh, options you see here, right? So Walmart, these, that, 7-Eleven and so forth. So this is only for advertisers that are selling through third party retailers. If you own your stores, you click the plus symbol, you choose our locations, we continue. And now here there are a couple of options. Option number one, you already have a listing or multiple listings on Google Maps. So you can list your business on Google Maps by actually creating an account with Google My Business. You need to go to this link, you need to create an account, you need to fill in your address, your business particulars, and then go through verification. I'm going to have the link in the description. And if you have a profile under the same email that has access on your Google Ads account, so you have an email that is an admin on your Google Ads account, the same email is the one that you use to create your business profile, then you can select it through the first option. If this is not the case, then you can request access to another business profile manager account. So all you have to do here is to fill in the address of your client, the address, the email address that your client used to create the Google My Business account. So you have a client, they use blah, 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 email at gmail.com to create their listing on Google Maps you need to come here, select the second option, put that email address here and send them a request to link this Google Ads account to their business profile manager. And another option is to enter a domain to request access. So you type, for example, here a domain, let's say test.com, you select the country. So let's say India, Indonesia, Pakistan, UAE, and then you request access to their business profile managers. Essentially, you request access to link your Google Ads with their Google My Business account. And once this is done with whatever option you choose, then all you have to do is to basically continue, save, and you are done. What is going to happen then is that you can associate your location. You can click on your location and you can associated with certain campaigns or your entire account. And from there, what it means is that sometimes at the discretion of the algorithm, your location will show up under your ad on a Google Ads results, and people will be able to click to get directions and visit your physical store. That's it. So the most important part here is that you need to understand what is the situation at the moment, right? So. Is it the case that we have a Google My Business account and we have this account connected already to the email that we are using? That's the easiest scenario. You go straight away, you link the two, you can get started straight away. Is it the case that there is a different email address that is being used to create the listings on Google Maps? In this case, then you can request access either by using the email or by using the domain if people tell you, I don't remember which email we used. That's it. I hope that you found everything useful. 
Thank you very much for watching and have a great day in any time zone.